Hi, it's Mama Rose, and today's the 20th of November, and I wanted to go ahead and cook dinner with you, show you what we eat on the carnivore diet, and I'm calling myself a keto boar. So anyway, here is the bacon I just cooked in the pan, and I got a nice hot pan, and today we have um, hamburgers and fajitas. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in this nice hot pan. There's a lot of noise. And then here's the fajitas that I just seasoned with a little Mexican seasoning. And that's going to go on the other side. There we go. Oops, I'll put that over here. Boy, it's pretty noisy with all this sizzling going on. So as you know, I like to start out with the bacon. So I get the grease in the pan. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. And in order to get a, a good amount of fat, I'm getting something over here to show you. I have some tallow, and we could even put some of this in there to add a little extra fat. Let me show you my tallow. There's a lady on the internet that is carnivore and she's amazing. She's like in her 70s and she does all kinds of stuff. She'll eat the tallow. Well, that's not too bad, but anyway, you can just put it. That's not bad at all. I'll put a little in there. I could do that. I could do that. So if you're doing the carnivore and you don't get enough fat, it's not really melting in my mouth either. It doesn't really taste like anything. Get <laughs> back over here. Stirring my meat up here. Turning it around. Anyway, you want to make sure you get your fat in. And so if you don't get your fat in and you have too much protein, then from what I understand, the, the protein, the extra protein, will be converted into glucose. So you want to make sure the trick is to this and one of the reasons why the Atkins diet did not did not continue to flourish is because there wasn't enough fat in the diet. So you got to have that fat in there. So let me go ahead over here, back down to show you what we're cooking. And then I also have my chicken wings be cooking in my air fryer. So we're going to have chicken wings and fajita, beef fajita, and the hamburgers. And there, I can turn those over. And I want to turn these over. And I've just put salt and a little bit of granulated garlic on these. So if you're really doing strict carnivore, a lot of people will tell you don't use the garlic, don't use the Mexican seasonings or cumin or any of that, because it really does upset some people. Um, I get all organic, but Anyway, I am. I do want to salt the other half of this, the other side of this. Let me get my salt. This is pretty easy to do. Forget that. When you're doing chicken wings, you got to make sure you got them seasoned good. Otherwise, they're going to be pretty bland. What's nice about the chicken wings, and these are organic, is that you get a lot of fat with the meat. Oh, that tallow's not bad at all. Now, you, if, you, if you're really, really strict carnivore, you might not eat cheese, okay? But I'm just going to, for a little little bit of flavor here. I'm going to add some nice sharp cheese in here. I got it grated. I left you, huh? All right, see how nice that's coming along? All right, that should... Now, I just started this video for and a half minutes ago. But I did cook the bacon, which doesn't take very long. And I put the chicken wings in the, in the uh, air fryer, which were, was only a matter of a couple minutes. So actually, you know, this is pretty quick cooking. I mean, I used to watch Rachel Ray and, you know, 30, 30 minutes or less and 30-minute uh, meals. And this is 
this is definitely within the 30 minute range. And then also Rachel did a thing years ago for, called a uh, uh, $40 a day. She ate on $40 a day. And I was, sh I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to, I was sharing with a friend that I think ours is under $20 a day. Even if we have a ribeye, we usually split the ribeye. So you figure $12 for the ribeye. And then your hamburger is uh, $5 for a pound of it. And we don't, we would maybe put, share it a ribeye, each have a small hamburger patty, which is half of the package. And then the fajitas that I got were like, I think this package I got was really big. I mean, you see what I've been pulling from. Let me show you, just in case you see that video. But when I opened up the package, I ended up filling up one of these. And this is, I've already had two meals. We had some yes last night and some tonight. And so this will go for another two meals, so four meals. So even if I paid $15, I don't think I did for this, but let's say I paid $15 for this. Um, what is that? Four, 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 eight, sixty. so less than $4 for that. So if we have a ribeye and that, the chicken wings weren't very much. Now, I'm not having ribeye tonight, but if last night, if I had the ribeye, um, all the stuff I had was under $20. This this meal is going to be even cheaper because I got $2.50 in ground beef, and this is this is the stuff I get from Butcher Box. It's grass-fed, grass-finished. It's in a one-pound package, and, you know, I, I don't even count the cheese. Let's just say a dollar for the cheese, but that's not a dollar's worth of cheese. So we got $2.50, $3.50, uh, another $4 for the fajitas, so that's less than $10 right there. And then the chicken wings I got were $15, and I got a package with three packages like this in it. They're party wings from Costco. So $5 a pack. And again, I did the same thing. Let me get that out, too. They're big party packs. When I get the chicken out, that's, again, we had six of these last night. We're having six of them again tonight. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces left in here. So I could actually cook these. I, I won't, I'll probably just cook all of these the next time and we'll have more chicken wings than the other meat. But if you, that's for three meals for one of those. So $5, I split it up, $5, and then divided by three meals. I'm telling you, that's way under $20 a day. And then the bacon is... Five something, five twenty nine, I think, for the bacon that I get at at uh, Trader Joe's. I think I way cooked this uh, fajita meat a little too much, but anyway, it's done. And I'm just waiting for the hamburgers. They take a little bit longer. So so far, this is what I got, and the chicken wings. I'm working on the chicken wings. So we're gonna have a variety. So. And I'm not buying any vegetables. Now, if I were doing this with the meat and then buying a bunch of vegetables, then I'd have, you know, really when you think about it, a head of cauliflower organic is $2.49 at, at um, uh, Trader Joe's. And that's the best price you're going to find for a head of, you know, good uh, organic cauliflower. So, if you were to get that and cook that, you know, of course, you wouldn't eat a whole head of cauliflower at one sitting, I don't think. But you know what? If you're making cauliflower mash or some other cauliflower dish in keto, then you're, you're going to eat quite a bit. If you're making a pizza crust, you're going to eat, you're going to use a whole head of cauliflower. And then you have a lettuce. Uh, lettuce is about two fifty for three at Trader Joe's for three um, uh, romaine hearts. And so I usually use, I would use one of those. So I'm not saying that it's cheaper to eat the meat, but I'm just saying it's not as expensive as everybody thinks it is. I think it is going to be cheaper in the long run because I used to buy a lot of vegetables. And I used to waste a lot of vegetables because I just could not, you know, they go bad. And what are you going to do? You know, you, you can only do so much. But with the meat, it's great because I take out what I'm going to, what I'm going to cook for the day. I might take a two or three days out and let them slowly thaw in the refrigerator and then I'll pull from those things or do what I did the other day. I pulled out the 
I pulled out the steak for fajitas. I always have bacon in the refrigerator. I had a pound of ground beef that I put on my tray for cooking. And then I also have the, chi the party wings. And so I'm kind of mixing that up. We're having those uh, a couple, three nights a week. I'll mix it up with something else. Maybe tomorrow we'll have fish with it or the, ri the ribeye. I want to show you these beautiful. The, if you don't have an air fryer, um, they're kind of fun to use. You can do this in the oven, but it's probably going to take uh, an hour to do in the oven. It's just much quicker to do here. Um, let's see how they're coming along. And I just went ahead and sprayed the bottom of the pan this time so it doesn't stick. That was a big deal. But, and, and I'll tell you what, I bet you when I put all this on the plate, Mark's going to say, I can't eat all this. And so whatever we don't eat, we put in a little container and put it in the refrigerator. And like today, I haven't felt like eating. I've been super busy at work. And when I'm real busy, and if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. So I didn't eat. Um, I had my bone broth soup earlier, and I haven't even had a drink. I'll usually make myself some kind of a drink with an electrolyte in it or something, but I haven't even had time to have a drink. So it is almost 5 o'clock, and so I am eating. But Mark, I did make, uh, he did have leftovers for lunch today, so he did have some lunch. So I just shut the burner off on this and put the cover on a little bit so that I can melt that cheese a little bit better. And I'm just waiting for the... Um, chicken wings to come and I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice plate so I can say let's plate this. I'll be right back. Oh boy. I need my white I have a nice white plate that I bought. Well, it wasn't really nice. It's a cheap white plate that I bought to plate my stuff on. And it, it, it ends up in the dishwasher. So I guess I need to get um, uh, maybe some white plates so that I can... That's where the thrift store comes in handy. So we're going to do the white plate so you can see the food, how nice it is. And not all the flowers on my plate. So I'm going to start plating this right now. Now, if you wanted to... Uh, have some dairy, like some sour cream or something, you know, that would be good. Or an avocado, if you're, if you're eating that way, you could have an avocado, you know, with this. We're not doing that right now, we're just doing the meat and uh, sticking with that. So, so far, there's our plate, and I'm going to get the burger off of here. And the burger. Okay, here we go, and I'm going to take you over here. Here we go. Oh, I don't know how good that lighting is, but it's raining and cloudy and everything else out. So here we go. And as my, as my father-in-law used to say, a meal fit for a king, and here I am, only a prince. My husband, of course, would say that. Um. <laughs> anyway, there you go. This is dinner, the carnivore way. So, thanks for watching, and I'm going to try to upload that video that I made last night. I had We had a beautiful dinner last night, and I used my new... Um, my new iPhone 11 Plus, but I let it go all night long, and that thing did not upload my video, so I gave up. I needed to use the phone today, and I was real excited about getting the phone because I can splice and put stuff together with it, but, you know, so far, um, I, if I can't use it to videotape to do that with, um, then it's going to kind of be useless, so I, I don't know. But anyway, I went back to my old phone, and um, anyway... Have a great day or evening, and thanks again for watching.